Thank you very much for listening to my talk. I'm Xi Xingu, and I'd like to talk about our paper, comparing large unit and bitwise linear approximations of Snow 2 and Snow 3G. In this paper, we reconsider the relation between the large unit linear approximation and the smaller unit and bitwise ones derived from the large unit one, showing that approximations on large unit alphabets have advantages over all the smaller unit or bitwise ones in linear attacks. For SNOW2 and SNOW3G, we found many concrete examples of 8-bit linear approximations, including the best ones, whose certain one-dimensional or bitwise linear approximations have almost the same CI as that of the original 8-bit ones. That is, each of these bitwise approximations is dominated by a single bitwise approximation, and thus the whole SEI is not essentially larger than the SEI of the dominating single bitwise approximation. Since correlation attacks can be more efficiently implemented using bitwise approximations rather than large unit ones, improvements over the large unit linear approximation attacks are possible for SNOW2 and SNOW3G. For SNOW3G, we improve the faster correlation attack by using our newfound bitwise linear mask yielding high correlations. My talk will include these five parts. In the first part, I'd like to talk about the motivation of our research. SNOW2 and SNOW3G are both members of the SNOW family stream ciphers using the classic LFSR-FSM structure. Linear attacks have been widely used to analyze SNOW2 and SNOW3G, most of which are based on the bitwise linear approximations. At Crypto 2015, John et al. improved the faster correlation attack on SNOW2 by building the two-round bitwise linear approximations for FSM. Inspired by this work, at FSE 2020, Young et al. constructed the three-round bitwise linear approximations for FSM of SNOW3G and launched a faster correlation attack. These results give the impression that large unit approximations lead to larger SEI and also to better attacks. So the question is, how do the large unit and the smaller unit or bitwise linear approximations work for SNOW2 and SNOW3G? Before describing the main work we've done, I will introduce some concepts used in this paper. Definition 1 describes the correlation of a Boolean function f. Correlation is often used to evaluate the efficiency of bitwise linear approximations in linear attacks. Definition 2 describes the correlation of an AM vectorial Boolean function and any given input and output mask. For an AM vectorial Boolean function, with the definition of the probability distribution, the SEI is defined as definition 3. SEI measures the distance between the target distribution and the uniform distribution. Especially for m equals 1, the SEI of f is equal to the squared correlation of f. For an m function f, we define fv for each m bit non-zero v such that fvx equals the inner product of v and fx. Then f can be viewed as an m-bit large unit linear approximation, and fv is a bitwise linear approximation derived from f. There is a fundamental factor about the SEI of a distribution, that is, the SEI of a large unit linear approximation 
is the sum of the squares of all non-zero bitwise linear approximations that are included in the large unit approximation, as shown in lemma 1. For the SEI of the probability distribution df, we will adopt the simplified notation delta f to denote delta df hereafter. From this fact, we derive directly the relation between a large unit approximation and the smaller unit or bitwise ones derived from the large unit one, as shown in property one and property two. Property one shows the relation between different size linear approximations, and property two shows the relation between the large unit linear approximation and any bitwise ones derived from the large unit one, suggesting that approximations on large unit alphabets lead to larger SEI. Since the data complexity in a linear attack is proportional to the value of 1 of that f, property 1 and 2 seem to suggest that the larger the unit, the better complexity result we can get in a linear attack. Next, we will introduce the work we've done. The first is about the large unit and bitwise linear approximations of the FSM of SNOW2. In this part, we will study the bitwise and bitwise linear approximations respectively. This finger shows the keystream generation phase of SNOW2. SNOW2 is with the LFSR and FSM structure. The FSM consists of two 32-bit registers, namely R1 and R2. The FSM updating and the keystream output are as shown here. Where the S function, S function is a 32-bit to 32-bit mapping composed of four parallel AES S boxes denoted by SR, followed by the AES mixed column operation denoted by M1. We first recap on the previous bitwise linear approximations for two-round FSM of SNOW2. For two-round FSM, the output bit can be expressed as a function of internal state bits with the variables and the f function defined described here. Apply the masks gamma and lambda to two consecutive history models. The bitwise linear approximations have the following form. For this approximation, the best three master tuples of gamma lambda are listed in this table. Actually, we've done more experiments recently by taking different masks for the keystream words and LFSR states involved, obtaining more bitwise linear masks yielding high correlations. Next, we recap on the bitwise approximation of for FSM. The general method is to apply the four byte masks P and N to two consecutive history models by using multiplications over the AS mix column field. And then cancel out the nonlinear non contributions from the registers by decomposing the whole noise into two sub noises. Accordingly, the bitwise linear approximations for the FSM are obtained as follows. To obtain the SEI of the bitwise linear approximation on any given TN mask, we need to compute the SEI of N1 and N2 respectively. Our contribution here is that we provide two slightly improved algorithms for SEI computations of N1 and N2. 
With these algorithms, the SEI of the whole noise can be derived by the convolution of that of N1 and N2. With these two algorithms, we've carried a wide range of search for good, for bitwise masks. One important observation from our experiments is that the best bitwise mask tool given by John is not optimal. And we've we found two more bitwise masks which give large SEI, as shown in the table two. Table 1 and Table 2 list the best three bitwise and bitwise masks for the FSM of SNOW2. We let FTN denote the bitwise linear approximation under the 4-byte mask tuple TN, and F gamma lambda denote the bitwise linear approximation with the 32 mask tuple gamma lambda. For each bitwise and bitwise linear masks with the same number, we verified that the first coordinate of the bitwise mask is exactly the bitwise mask, and they have the same SEI, as shown here. That is, each of these bitwise linear approximations is dominated by a single bitwise approximation. In our experiments, there are many concrete examples of bitwise linear approximations whose certain one-dimensional bitwise approximations have almost the same SEI as that of the original large unit ones. We know that correlation attack can be more efficiently implemented are using bitwise approximations. Improvement over the bitwise attack is possible for SNOW2. Actually, a bitwise fast correlation attack on SNOW2 has been mounted by using multiple bitwise masks as listed in table 2. Next, we describe the bitwise and bitwise linear approximations of FSM of SNOW3G. SNOW3G differs from SNOW2 by introducing a third 32-bit register to the FSM and a corresponding transformation for updating this register, the S2 function. The FSM updating and the keystream output are as shown here. The S2 function is a 32 to 32 mapping composed of four parallel 8-bit to 8-bit substitutions followed by the AES mix column operation. We first describe bitwise linear approximations for three-round FSM of SNOW 3G. Similarly, for three-round FSM, the output bits can be expressed as a function of internal state bits, with the variables and the f function described here. Generally, we consider to apply the linear masks phi, gamma, and lambda to the keystream words at three consecutive time instances, respectively, and then cancel out the nonlinear contributions by decomposing the whole noise into four sub-noises. The four sub-noises are E1 to E4. Accordingly, the bitwise linear approximations have the following form. And the correlation on any given masks, phi gamma lambda, is obtained according to pin up lemma. What we should do is to find the phi gamma lambda such that the corresponding correlation is as large as possible. Then we need to compute the correlations of four sub noises for given masks. That is, we need to compute the correlations of the noises 
e one, e two, e three, and e four. First, for the computation of the correlation of e one and e two, note that e one and e two have the same form but different input and output linear masks. From the expressions, a certain type of function is is derived, denoted by G. The literature GB20 has provided a constant time algorithm for computing the correlation of G on any given mask. The general idea is to divide the 32-bit values into four 8-bit values according to the specific structure of S-box, and then pre-compute and store some useful matrices independent of the input and output masks, and finally compute the correlation on the any given masks by doing some matrix multiplications by using the pre-computed matrices. Next, for the computation of the correlations of E3 and E4, note that E3 is closely related with the module addition with three inputs, which can be accurately computed in constant time by the method in the literature NWO6 by doing 32 matrix multiplications of small size. We will skip the details. As for the noise E4, the correlation can be obtained through four LAT lookups, which is, of course, a constant time procedure. With these constant time algorithms for computing the correlations of four sub noises, we can carry out a wide range of search for four phi gamma lambda, which yield high correlations. In this paper, we use a search strategy attempting to find some potential linear masks based on some correlation ob observations. We will skip the, the details, but give the search results. Following the general procedure of the fast correlation attack, we propose an attack with a linear mask given in the table, improve largely the previous results based on bitewise linear approximation. Next, we focus on the bitewise linear approximations. The general procedure for building the bitewise approximations are similar with that for building the bitwise ones. First, apply the four byte masks Q, T, N to three consecutive keystream words by using multiplications over the AES mixed column field, and then cancel out the nonlinear contributions by decomposing the whole noise into four sub noises. All these noises are 8 bit variables. The SEI computations are mostly the same with that in Snow 2 case. We will sketch some ideas on how to compute the above noise distributions. This table show, shows the best uh, bitewise uh, mass tuples we obtained for three rounds FSM of no 3G. Table 3 and Table 4 list the best three bitewise and bitwise masks for SNU 3G. Similarly with the SNU 2 case, for each bitwise and bitwise linear mask with the same number, we verified that the first coordinate of the bitwise mask is exactly the bitwise mask, and the, the SEI of the bitwise mask is almost equal to the squared correlation of the corresponding coordinating bitwise mask. That is, each of these bitwise linear approximations is dominated by a single bitwise approximation. There are many such cases in our experiments. Since correlation attacks can be more efficiently implemented using bitwise appro approximations, rather than bitwise ones. 
improvements over the batchwise linear approximation attacks are achieved. In this paper, we compare the batchwise and bitwise linear approximations of SNOW 2 and SNOW 3G and find many concrete examples of bitwise linear approximations whose certain bitwise linear approximations have almost the same SEI as that of the original 8 bit ones. That is, each of these bitwise approximations is dominated by a single bitwise approximation. Based on our newly found bitwise masks, we propose a bitwise fast correlation attack on SNOW 3G. Slightly improve the previous attack based on bitwise linear approximations. That's all of my presentation. Thanks for your listening.